Education. What's your name? Dejan. Okay. I can hear you speak up there. Okay. The microphone. You say you're in the ninth grade? Eighth grade. Eighth grade? Okay. Um, she said she thinks you are angry because they're bullies. Um, my name is Tierra. I'm in I go to Eastern and I'm in ninth grade. And I think people are mad because they're pressured into getting good grades. Pressure to get good grades? Yeah, okay. So what does that pressure look like? Um, like your parents keep pushing you to um, get a lot of like A's when you already have sports and you have lots of homework and you're trying to balance that with hanging out with your friends. Okay. Hi, I'm Kara. I'm in the Sport Administration Master's Program at UML. I think there's a lot of pressure today to create that change, and I don't think youth see themselves as being able to create that change. It's kind of that, yeah. yeah. Um, hello, my name is Devin Bunny, and um, I go to Phoenix High School. I'm in the ninth grade, and um, I think today's youth are angry because of stress about school and um, getting homework turned in on time and stuff like that. Okay. Um, I'm Robert Williams, I come at seven. I'm really angry for you. And I think teens are so angry because they, people, Do you guys see a difference between anger that you think is kind of normal for teenagers versus anger that is um, harmful? Anger that is beyond kind of, uh, like this young woman talked about, like when you're in adolescence and you are changing and you're trying to develop your own identity, and all of this stuff is kind of happening around you, do you think that there is some measure of anger or angst that is normal that people just experience and it's kind of part of growing up? Um, and is there a difference between that and anger that's producing bad things, anger that is resulting in not just regular growing up, but things that are, um, that are hurting people? Or is it all the same? Can you give some examples? Well, I think about, um, you know, 
mom, can I go to this party? No. Okay, I'm mad. Uh, my mom's too strict. That's, I think, something that all teens deal with at some point, right? Is just not getting to do what you want to do at some point. For me, I think, you know, that's probably a normal part of growing up. It's just feeling like I really want to do this and my parents are not letting me do everything I want to do. Maybe that's normal. Um, but if it is, um, I don't get to do the things that I want to do because, uh, and I grew up raised by a single mom, I was responsible for cleaning, I was responsible for cooking meals, I was responsible for laundry. It wasn't necessarily just that my mom didn't want me to go to this party, I didn't get to go do the things that other kids were doing because I had a lot of responsibility at home. I think that anger is different than just, mom's not letting me do what I want to do. Do y'all think that that's different or? What do you think, Martha? Yeah. Why? Um, sure. I mean, I'm just thinking, uh, and I'm asking because it may be just very different what's going on in my head. Are there differences in kind of normal anger that you would experience? You know, you get in a fight with your best friend, or you break up with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, right? And it just makes you angry, and that's just kind of part of life, right? Nobody. Does anybody in here think that you're going to go all the way through life and never be angry and that that's kind of the healthy thing? No? Does everybody agree that you will get angry at some point? And that anger's normal. It's okay. What do you think, Alan? I don't think there is a difference. Sometimes, you know, like what you said, like breaking up with somebody, you know, it's not something everybody's going to go through. But I mean, like, like somebody... Like somebody's house burned down. You know, that's not something everybody's gonna go through, but something like somebody probably will go through, and you know, I think that's like a very different anger than you know breaking up with somebody. Right. Well but I think that anger anger that comes from like a normal fight with your friends or breaking up with a boyfriend or girlfriend is different than anger that either comes from being bullied or results in somebody bullying somebody else. Right? Do y'all agree with that? Yes. So, are we talking about are we talking about the normal anger that everybody experiences? Or are we talking about the unhealthy anger that is resulting in hard stuff and bad stuff? Okay. So, can you talk about right? You guys have talked about reasons that kids are angry, and a lot of these, um, several of you talked about that the world looks different. Right, and there's even more expectations, and more expectations, and more pressure, and more things that are that you have to do. It's like when like you get bullied and you don't tell somebody. Sometimes like they act like they don't care. It's like they don't believe you, or they won't do nothing about it. They just have you like handle it yourself, or just let you go through the stress. So then. that is coming from being bullied and how that looks or anger that causes people to bully other people. Can we go back to home life? What home life wise are the things that are in that area of, of anger that is unhealthy? Uh, going to home life, you know, you might be getting bullied at school, so when you go home, you're mad. And so, like, you take it out on your mom and your dad, you know, you get in fights with them a lot more than you usually do. Just a different person. After you come home from school and you got bullied at school, you go home and, like, argue with your brother or your sister, and it just makes you more upset about the whole situation. When you say home life, I think about like your parents making you angry or like your relatives making you angry. Like parents, your parents fighting all the time or 
your sister doing some shit you don't want her to do or yeah, something like that. And usually when parents are fighting, there's like a different kind of anger. Like, I think you're angry at yourself more than anything because you feel like for some reason it's probably your fault. So do other people think that some of the unhealthy anger stems from being angry with yourself? Yeah. So what are the things that you think youth are dealing with that causes them to be angry with themselves? I mean, you talked about feeling like it's the fault that your parents fight. Are there other things that you think of that are reasons that you think youth are angry at themselves? Or that cause them to be angry at themselves? Feeling like they can't accomplish their goals. Like when they don't do well in a class, you know, they get angry at themselves. You know, they think they can't do it, so they just kind of just quit on even trying anymore. Trying to like, they're trying to like accomplish something. Like maybe they're trying to hold down a job because they like need the extra money, but they keep struggling there and then they lose it, and they feel like they aren't really capable of achieving what they need to to like be successful. Interesting that a lot of you talked about the expectations placed on you by school and by parents, but you're also talking about expectations of yourself. <coughs> right. So when it's expectations related to what teachers expect or your parents expect, um, I know in the video you saw um, people, different people talking about what they felt like they were expected as um, youth leaders in their church. Do you think that youth are internalizing those expectations and making it, if I don't achieve it, it's all my fault? Is the anger more on themselves or is it I'm angry at you because these expectations are totally unreasonable because I'm just a kid? I think everybody has a reaction to that, but we may have to prompt them a little bit just to give them that opportunity to express it. So what do you think? Did you hear what you just, the question? I think would be curious just to hear a little bit from everybody, so not to single you out, but what do y'all think? I mean, just talking about expectations, feeling like there's unreasonable expectations. Um, where are those expectations coming from and where's the anger directed? Is it expectations that other people put on you and you're angry at them about the expectations being unreasonable? Or is it expectations and then you get angry with yourself because you can't live up to what you think people expect? Or is it something else? You want to weigh in? I mean, I think it's like a mix of both. For real, like, uh, like your parents might try to get you, like they might have expectations that you might not want to accomplish. Like that's not what you want to do in life and you kind of feel like you're being forced to like, you know, like do what they have planned out for you and you can't like, you can't do what you want to do. Like you gotta like do everything they want and stuff. You can't really like talk for yourself or think for yourself or nothing. So like, you know, you get kind of mad at both. Like you mad at yourself because like I guess some people want to please their parents and stuff. And uh, I guess you kind of mad at yourself because you can't like, you know, you can't please them and all that. And they got a feeling like they judging you or something. Like, but personally, I don't think people should really, like, care about expectations. I think you should just do what you want to do, for real. Like, you shouldn't have to, like, nobody should be able to force you to do anything. Like, you do what you want and just, like, you know, uh, be the best you can be in it. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. You want to land? Who? You have ideas? Mm, well, I know I get mad when mama, she expects me to be like, like, she expects me to get like all A's and all that stuff, and I'm just like, she thinks I'm not trying in school, but it just gets hard and stuff, and then your parents always think you lying about something, or thinking you're doing something that you're not doing, so yeah, I do cause. 
don't think for myself, like my parents don't really force me to do anything. Like I compare myself to other people, like how I want to be, and like I want to be like the top of my class. And I feel like sometimes I take off more than I can chew. So then like I end up being mad at myself because I did so much and I was trying to be like someone else. How about you? Can you repeat the question? Sure. We're just talking about expectations and where expectations are coming from. Um, and if you feel like the expectations are, are unreasonable, are you angry because you feel like other people are putting unreasonable expectations on you? Or are you angry at yourself because you can't live up to what you think people expect? Or is it something else? Um, something else. I think expectations are mostly from your parents because they raise, they raise you, and they want, they want the best for you. <laughs> so, and they want you to grow up and be a good person. And that is that pressure unreasonable, or is that expectation unreasonable, or is how they want you to do it unreasonable? What is it that makes it cause anger? Um. Like they pressure you and you know, like keep on reminding you, don't do that. So, you know, just pay attention. Just nagging. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all are giving me really good tips. I'm about to have one of one of you. <laughs> so as a mom, I'm I'm listening. Teachers have you like do some things, and um, you like. I try to always get A B I wrong, and my band teacher like kind of asks for like too much, and like he has you like do too much, like That's where true. you can't get A B I wrong. And like one time I got a C, as I got a D, and he tried to say it's because I didn't. Uh, complete a test and I felt like I like earned a B but I got it up to a C. So is some of that maybe not the expectation but you feel like either they are trying to make you not succeed or they're not supporting you to succeed. They're setting an expectation and then it's